Good morning, Year 2. Now, last time we looked at verbs in our spelling lesson, we were adding ing to the root verb. Now, this time, it's a lot trickier because we're going to try and find out which of these words we can add ed to when you put the verb in the past. Now, some of them, you can just put ed on the end. Some of them have got an e already, so you just have to put the d on the end. Some of them, you have to do something completely different. It makes a new word. And there's one of them that makes it can be two new words. There's two different ones to choose from. So the easiest way to do this is to think of it in a sentence. So I was walking, I walked. So first think of the ing one. I was washing my face, I washed my face. I was waving to my friend, I waved to my friend. So if you put them in two sentences, it's much easier to work out what the past is. So first of all, I want you to see if you can find out which ones you can put ed onto the end of. So I'm now going to read them in a sentence. So we're going to see if the ed ending works for each one. So we're going to start in the top corner. I was skipping to school. I skipped to school. So you can use ed for skipped. So it's it. what do you think you have to do to the p? Because it's a short i. Well done, you have to double the p. So I skipped to school. I was swimming in the pool. I swimmed. Does that sound right? It doesn't, does it? So we'll have to do something else with that one. I was walking to school. I walked. That one works. And all you have to do, that's a nice easy one, is just add ed. I was washing my face. I washed my face. That one works. So you just add ed. And remember, washed has an a in it. It's like was. It sounds like an o, but it's actually an a. I was swinging in the park. I swinged. Mm -mm, can't have swinged. I was sleeping in my bed. I sleeped. You can't have sleeped either. I was sliding down the slide. I slided. Nope, that doesn't work. I was taking an orange, I taked, that doesn't work either. I was waving at my friend, I waved. Yes, that one works, so you can have waved. We'll worry about the other ones in a minute. We're going to put, do the ed ones first. I'm wiping the box, I wiped the box. That works. Now, it doesn't always sound like ed. Sometimes you can hear the D, sometimes you can hear the whole ed. Sometimes it sounds like a T. I was working hard, I worked hard. That one works as well. I was writing a story, I righted. Nope, that doesn't work. I was yawning, I yawned. Yawned works. Yawn. Remember, it sounds like a death, but it's actually an ed. I was tying a knot, I tied. Now, this one already has an E. You don't add another E, you just put the D. So it's a bit like the dropping the E rule that we had with ing. Because the E's already there, you just put a D on it. I was stopping, I stopped. Now that's got an O, so you double the P because it's a short O sound. I was standing, I standed, nope. I was throwing, I throwed, nope. I was telling, I telled, that doesn't work. I was spinning, I spinned, that doesn't work either. I was talking, I talked. We can have talked. We're running out of ones now, aren't we? Sneezing, sneezed is okay. So some of them you can add, Ed. In fact, most of them, but not that many. So what are we going to do with all the others? See if you can guess what the past is going to be for some of the others. So the blue ones, the one we've just done, they're called regular verbs, the ones you add ed to. Now the others, you need to think about them in a sentence because some of them are quite tricky. Let's start at the top. I was swimming in the pool. That would be I swam in the pool. Make sure the pen's working. Swa am in the pool. I was sleeping in bed. Can you guess what that one is? I slept in my bed. I was swinging on a swing. This is a hard one. I swung. 
Now, sometimes you hear swang for that one. So I think it might even be either of them, swung or swang. I have to look that one up and check. I was sliding down the slide. I slid. So you can get rid of the E. That one actually becomes easier to spell. It's just slid. I was taking an orange. I took an orange. Where are we now? Well, those three were okay. Spinning. I was spinning the ball on my finger. And it's I spun. Not span. I did look that one up. <laughs> and it's spun. I was telling a secret. I told a secret. Where are we now? I was throwing the ball. I threw the ball. It's like blew out the candles. It's an EW. I was writing a story. I wrote a story. That's a split diagraph with the O. Oh, there's one left, I think, down there. Standing. We were standing in a row. We stood in a row. So there's almost half red and half blue, and those red ones are irregular verbs. You just have to really say it in a sentence to know which spelling. I'm now going to have a go at the past tense penguins game. Now, sadly, we can't give you a link to this because it's on a school account, but we'll see how I get on. Now, there's a simple game or a tricky game. Now, I think because I'm a teacher, I think I really should do the tricky game. So the first word is slip. Now, do I just add ed? Do I drop an e and add ed? I can't because there's no e. Do I double the consonant? Do I change a Y to an I? Oh my goodness, we haven't even done that one yet. Or do I do something different? So I slipped on the ice. Now it's got a L, I, a short I sound. So I think I need to double the consonant. Hooray! Love. So I love chocolate. I loved chocolate. Now there is an E. So we drop D. Though actually we're just putting the D on the end, but it is the drop D. Hooray! Oh, no, this is a tricky one. I was running very fast. I, it changed to ran, doesn't it? It's a new word, so it's do something different. Hooray! I went shopping. I shopped, and it's an O, not an O, so you double the consonant. Hooray! Hugging and hugged. And it's an ah, uh, a short ah uh, next to the end, so you double the consonant. Oh, we did this one just now. I was writing a story I wrote. So I think that counts as something different because it's a new word with an O. Growl. The dog growled. I think that's just add ed. Trying very hard, I tried. Now this is a say goodbye to the Y. So you change the Y to an I. Hooray! And it becomes tried. We were chatting, we chatted. And it's got an A ah sound, a short A. Ah, so you have to double the T. Hooray! We raced around the garden. It ends in an E. So you drop the E. Hooray! Oh, is that all? I got 10 out of 10. I'm very impressed. I wouldn't have done as well if it was the old spun and spin because I got very confused about that just now. So yesterday, hopefully you started writing your non-chronological report about elephants. I've got a little moving picture here of elephants. I think they're hugging each other with their trunks because that's one of the facts we found out, didn't we? So... The introduction was what we were talking about yesterday, which is where you just explain what an elephant is and where they come from. So then you can choose. You might have got as far as writing about their tusks. I think the biggest paragraph would be about their trunk because there's lots of information about their trunk. Then you could talk about what they eat and then any more facts about their family. So today is your chance to finish off that report. Remember, you should have the piece of paper in your pack with the pictures on, and that's got spaces for you to write 
about all those different features of elephants. Now, after you've done a bit of writing, we're going to look at editing. So looking at your own writing and seeing if you can spot your own mistakes. So it's a bit like you being the teacher. So instead of showing it to your mum or your dad or showing it to me, you're going to look at it really carefully yourself. Because lots of times after people have done a piece of writing and I always say, have you read it? And they sort of shake their heads and say, no, I haven't read it. Because to really check your writing, you've got to read it yourself. And if you read it out loud, that's the best way of doing it. So I'm going to show you some bits of writing that were written in year two. And I can't even remember who wrote them. So we're not even going to try and work this out because some of them could be three or four years old. And we're going to pretend that we are the teachers, you are the teachers, and you're going to be looking for mistakes. So this is an example of someone's report about elephants. And I've written pink and green down the bottom with smiley faces because at school we use pink to show all the really good things. And we use green not to show the bad things, but to show the things that you need to work on. So green is for growth, isn't it? For learning. And that's why they've both got a smiley face because green is for the things we still need to learn and still need to work on. So I'm going to read this one to you. And then we're going to think, always start with the pink, what is really good about it, and then what things we could improve, what things we could mark in green. So let's read it first. Elephants are the biggest land animals. Sometimes elephants go in mud so they don't get sunburn. Elephants' tusks are big teeth. Elephants have long trunks. A female elephant is pregnant for 22 months. Elephants spend most of the day eating. Elephants, elephants are three times bigger than a human. Trunk. And trunk is a elephant's nose. Sometimes suck water halfway up the nose, then drink it. So you might have noticed, I noticed there were a couple of missing words there, but we're going to start with the pink. So let's change the pen to pink. And think about what was good about that. Well, most of it definitely made sense. And there were definitely some, let's see where the capital letters are. So we've got a capital letter there in the right place. We've got a full stop in the right place and then a capital letter. Full stop. Not sure if that one there is a capital letter. It's a bit hard to tell. Got a full stop there, oops, but we haven't got a capital letter after it. Got a full stop there and we have got a capital letter. So most of the full stops are in the right place, aren't they? And there's a full stop there and a capital letter after it. And we've got a heading there, which is good because they've started a new line because they're talking about something else and a full stop there. It's quite neat. It makes sense. And I definitely saw some conjunctions in there. Elephants go in mud so they don't get sunburn. So that's a good conjunction. Are there any more in there? Trunk is sometimes suck water halfway up. Then, so we've got another conjunction there. They've got then. And I think there were a couple of adjectives. There weren't any adverb openers, were there? So now let's change the pen to green and have a think about what we could do to make it better. So definitely we need a big A there because we noticed that, didn't we? It said Anne. We need a trunk is a elephant's nose. Sometimes, there's a missing word, isn't it? Sometimes they, I like the word sometimes though. Sometimes they suck water halfway up the nose, then drink it. So that's actually a really good sentence now. Now we've got some strange capital letters in strange places, which is making me remember who actually wrote this. I might even have a guess, but I'm not going to tell you. So they've got some good capital letters. There are also quite a few capital letters where there shouldn't be. So the word elephant doesn't need a capital letter unless it's at the start of a sentence. Because it's not Mr. Elephant or Mrs. Elephant. It's just any old elephant. So it only needs a capital letter when it's at the start of a sentence. So sometimes they've got that right, sometimes they've got that wrong. And I think they just need to practice writing a T a little t, because all of their t's are capital letters, aren't they? Even when it's in the middle of a word, it's like a capital letter. But the handwriting's pretty neat, apart from that. They've even tried a bit of joining up. There's a few bits of joining up there. So most of this 
makes sense and it's a pretty good piece of writing it's got some good facts in there oh i've just seen two capital g's in the middle of bigger now bigger is spelt brilliantly because they've done the double consonant but sadly the double consonants have been done as capitals so i think if we were telling this person what they needed to really focus on it would be sorting out their capital letters and their little letters and making sure they're in the right place so your TRP is, can I read and check my own writing for silly mistakes? So hopefully you've written a bit about elephants, you've done a bit of your report and you can check it for mistakes. You could use a green pencil and a pink pencil if you like and pretend you're a teacher and mark it like a teacher. If you haven't finished your report or you haven't done it yet, now's your time to do that. So now you can start writing your own report. Remember, this is the piece of paper in your pack that you're looking for. Hopefully you will have collected your pack yesterday. But of course, it doesn't have to be on the piece of paper with the pictures. But if you've got your pack, it's this piece of paper. So there's two separate pieces of paper that you're looking for to write your report on. And I really look forward to seeing some of them.